Right, hello YouTube, Military PTK here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick test on the Nomex glove. It's a glove made up half of leather and half of Nomex. You've got a leather palm and fingers, and then the main bulk of the material is Nomex. Um, these are used within the military a fair amount. They're fireproof gloves, or at least fire resistant, and that's what I'm going to test. Now, obviously, there have already been rigorous tests for this, that's why it's being used in the military or whatever. But I thought I'd um, do it myself so I can see with my own eyes how the Nomex reacts to being on fire. So I'm just going to use a can of deodorant as the fuel and set that on fire and see how it goes. Okay, spray the deodorant now. Okay, lighting. See how it does. Okay, so it looks as though there's basically no damage to the cloth whatsoever. But the flame didn't last particularly long, so let's test it again. Gonna add more deodorant this time. See how that does. Okay, it looks like the wind exhausted that one. Extinguished rather. Okay, so it looks like it did pretty well. All the sort of white stuff you can see is just residue from the deodorant. The Nomex material itself held up really well against the flames. So yeah, so far it's done surprisingly well. So I'm just gonna spray some more deodorant on. Hopefully it won't um, get blown out this time. Spray some up in there as well. Just so it's nice and saturated. Oh, there you go. That's a proper fire this time. Just can smell something burning. I think that's probably the leather. Right. So I'll do a bit of inspection. Still looks as though the Nomex remains like unharmed by the uh, fire. I mean, there, there is starting to be some sort of uh, don't know what we call it damage, I suppose, but it's not that extensive. Okay, fire seems to have gone out again. Yeah, still holding up very well. Gonna do one more test with the deodorant, then gonna move on to something else. Spray lots of work up in there. Properly saturated. Smoke. But again, the Nomex seems unaffected. Okay, let's try and find something else to put on this glove. Right, okay, test two of the more flammable substance. This is a new glove, um, obviously the gloves come in pairs, so I've got two to test. And then I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. The petrol 
it's probably going to do more damage. But let's see. I'm only going to use a small amount of petrol because obviously it's extremely flammable. Just going to pour it a bit over the glove. Okay, that's going to burn quite a lot. Okay, let's test it. Is the Nomex strong enough? Jeez. Seems to be holding up surprisingly well. Just looks like the leather that's um, taking most of the uh, damage. The Nomex seems to be doing fine. Overall, the Nomex held up very, very well. Obviously, there was some slight burning, but it didn't like sort of come apart. There's no sort of melting or any sort of holes from the fire. It all seems to be pretty good. Going around to the side where the leather is, though, it's completely stiff. See it tearing apart. Yeah, the leather didn't hold up very well at all. But the Nomex worked really well. Whereas well, these are two gloves. On the left, the petrol one, on the right, the deodorant one. You can see the petrol one obviously took a lot more damage because the flame was more intense and prolonged probably hotter, but the Nomex fared fine, completely resisted the flames. The same with the uh, detergent one, obviously the fire wouldn't have been intense, as intense. Everything's still flexible, including the leather, whereas on this one, the leather is just, you can hear it crunch. So yeah. Anyway, in conclusion to this video, the Nomex worked really well, as I expected it would be, seeing it is used by firefighters, um, US uh, Air Force pilots and all that. It's a very, extremely good material. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. I know this um, video didn't really have a lot to do with military reviewing but as these gloves are used by US Air Force pilots or whatever I thought I might as well test them just to see how fireproof they are. I think it's pretty fair to say these gloves are really good. Like they fared really well and I doubt if your um, hands on fire that badly the glove would do much to protect your hand from the fire anyway but at least it stops the glove melting onto your hand. Which I think is the main point of these gloves. But like I said, thanks very much for watching. Uh, maybe consider subscribing, liking, commenting, whatever. Check out my channel. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.